So I tested out some recipes recently that I formulated. I tested them out with my mom's four cats and they are actually complete for adult cats. They're really easy to make and they include ingredients that many of you reported to me that you actually have access to. So I wanted to make new and improved recipes that include more variety within each recipe, fewer supplements, more meat-based ingredients, and also use more ingredients that you have access to either locally or online. And spoiler alert, all four of my mom's cats really, really liked the food. I chunked it up and left some like larger chunks for them to chew on. They tried the boneless recipes, but the only difference between the boneless and the raw meaty bones is that the raw meaty bones include bones and the boneless ones do not. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho being antisocial in his little cat cave, but you will get to see a cameo of my mom's four cats, Charlie, Griffin, Gracie, and Ash. They are my product testers. So I have three raw meaty bones and three boneless recipes. Both are raw. We cannot cook them. I am working on doing cooked recipes, but these recipes are specifically fed raw and that's what the nutritional analysis provides. So it's based on the ingredients that I use and feeding the, the recipes raw. So the first one that I have is pork chicken beef, and this one is raw meaty bones. I'll go through the raw meaty bones ones just because the only difference in ingredients is that the raw meaty bones have bones and the raw boneless ones do not. So all of the other ingredients, including the supplements, are the same. So for this recipe specifically, we have pork tenderloin, beef chuck, chicken dark meat with the skin, chicken neck is the raw meaty bone, we're using beef heart, Salmon or sardines, that's okay. You can substitute each. We're only using a very small amount for the vitamin D. Chicken liver and chicken gizzards. So we have variety in the muscle meats. We have variety in the muscular organs. This one does only have one secreting organ, chicken liver. It doesn't go beyond the safe upper limit for vitamin A, so it's within the safe upper limit. And, uh, and then we have the fish, obviously, for the vitamin D, but that's a small amount, only about five or 6%. This recipe specifically, we need to use now E oil, sea seasonings, kelp, manganese. I'm using this manganese supplement because it's a liquid, very easy to dose out. And that's because this recipe does not include green tripe or blue mussels. A lot, only a small percent of people said that they have access to beef green tripe. And basically nobody said that they have access to blue mussels. Those are the only options for manganese. So we have to use a supplement if we cannot use those ingredients. Otherwise this, recipe would be deficient in, in manganese. And then we're gonna use eggshell powder. Yes, it includes raw meaty bones, but the calcium from that raw meaty bone is not enough to fulfill the calcium to phosphorus ratio. So we use a little bit of eggshell powder to bring the calcium to phosphorus ratio up to one, one to one. And I also provide on the listing so that you can see the moisture, protein, fat, ash, and net carbs, and the amount of calories in the whole recipe per ounce and what you would feed per day. In this specific recipe, the meat ingredients are 98.98% and the supplements are 1.02%. So very, very minimal and not too many that you have to buy. You can make your own eggshell powder at home and all three of the other supplements, the kelp, the vitamin E and the manganese are all available on iHerb, which does ship internationally. Please just check shipping costs before you buy just so you know what's involved and how long it's going to take to you to get to you and everything like that. The next recipe that I have is chicken, turkey and beef raw meaty bones. And for these ingredients, I have beef chuck, turkey dark meat with skin, chicken wing, that's the raw meaty bone, chicken heart, salmon or sardines. This one I'm using beef kidney and beef liver and also beef green tripe. So I wanted to do one recipe for people who do, who, who, do, <laughs> who do have access to beef green tripe because, and also two secreting organs, because I wanted one recipe that's more whole food based. For this one, the supplements are nutritional yeast for the B vitamins. You can use whatever brand is most is easiest for you. Most nutritional yeast, they add the B vitamins back to them. There's no worry for do overdoing it because B vitamins are water soluble. So any excess will come out in the urine, it's, it's no problem. Now vitamin E oil, eggshell powder, and kelp. So for this one, we don't need the manganese supplement since beef tripe is in the recipe. This one, we do need the nutritional yeast because I'm not using pork. So pork would supply the B vitamins in the previous recipe, whereas this one, we will need to add nutritional yeast. 
So nutritional yeast, you can, again, like you, like I said, you can use whatever brand you want, but for these recipes, this specific vitamin E and kelp is what I'm using. But I will include some substitutions inside of my homemade cat food starter kit course, just in case you want to use different products like the now kelp powder, but that's in the making. And for this details for moisture, protein, fat, ash, they're all about the same. So I won't go through all of those numbers. You can take a look at that. All of the links are in the description. For this one, 98.91% meat ingredients, supplements 1.09. So really, really minimal on the supplements and relying on meat-based ingredients for those nutrients. The next recipe is beef and chicken, raw meaty bones. This one we use beef chuck, chicken dark meat with skin, chicken wing, chicken heart, salmon or sardines, beef liver, beef spleen, and chicken egg yolk. So I'm using very similar ingredients in these recipes because let's say you want to feed all three of them but you don't want to buy 50 ingredients, but maybe you want to feed beef liver and chicken liver and spleen and kidney. So you can combine all of these recipes and a lot of the base ingredients are the same. So you won't be going crazy buying so many different ingredients. For the supplements, we are going to add the manganese supplement back to this one and the nutritional yeast. Since we're not using tripe for the manganese, we need to use the supplement and we don't have pork in this recipe, so we need to use the nutritional yeast. And then their other supplements are the same, vitamin E oil, eggshell powder to bring that calcium and phosphorus ratio up, and the kelp for iodine. For this one, we have meat ingredients 98.11% and supplements 1.89%. So you can see in all my recipes, the supplements are less than 2% of the entire recipe. So for making the cat food, the boneless recipes and the raw meaty bones recipes are really easy. If you want to feed a ground up texture instead of cutting all the ingredients like I do for Jericho, you could use a food processor instead of investing in a really, really large meat grinder because a lot of the times you would need a commercial grade meat grinder if you're doing bones through it. So I would say if you can't feed whole bones, go with the boneless recipes. You can put all of the ingredients into a food processor, chop it up, and you can grind it as much as you want so that it's ground, or you can just, what I did for my mom's for cats was just pulse it a few times, left it in larger chunks so that way that they're chewing something. For the raw meaty bones recipes, you can do that with the boneless meat and then feed the whole raw bones as whole raw bones. If you go the commercial grade meat grinder grout, I can't provide any advice on that because I don't have personal experience grinding bones myself. So I just have experience using the food processor for boneless meat. I would say maybe the gizzards you don't want to process because those are quite tough. You will still have to cut those. But with the raw meaty bones like the necks and the wings, you can cut them up with a very nice handy dandy pair of kitchen shears. And I will put links in the description below. If you wanna have access to all of these recipes, they are included in my homemade cat food starter kit. It's a self-paced video course that helps you plan everything, meal prep, and shows you exactly how I do everything. Nice bundled all in one place for you, distraction free. And it includes all of these recipes. So that's really the best deal if you want all of these recipes. You can check that link in the description or you can just shop individual recipes on my website and that link will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching.